the, the one area that I think is going to be a priority moving forward is um, a threat of not effectively leveraging initiatives that are intended. I'll try again. Um, so one of the one of the challenges um, moving forward, and given the descriptions of some of the real technical threats that exist and the realities of many of these, is not effectively leveraging initiatives that are intended to actually help mitigate uh, the threats, both vertically and horizontally. And I would look at this from a technical side, a policy side, and scaling um, of awareness and information and resources. And I'll just touch on each of those very quickly. On the technical side, there's enormous amounts of work being undertaken on capacity building initiatives, trainings, um, all sorts of other things. Uh, there was a workshop this morning on uh, CCTLDs in Africa and the importance of strengthening the CCTLD capacities to be able to absorb attacks, various other things. Um, Internet Society has done work on uh, peering arrangements, things of that sort. Um, Verizon and many other companies are involved in initiatives to really strengthen the network and make sure that there's a preparedness factor. So looking at these kinds of trainings and capacity buildings and ensuring on a global level that with the increased capacity that's coming to different parts of the world, is there a preparedness for what comes with that? Um, the difference in attacks, the kinds of attacks that come with that. Uh, so I think that's one area that's going to require some further awareness. In the policy discussions, that they continue to be multi-stakeholder, that one continues to have consensus-oriented policy discussions. It's the best way to have an insurance towards the future. Um, it's the best way to find uh, creative solutions that might actually address issues that come forward. Um, you had mentioned the BTAG, so the, the Broadband Internet Technical Advisory Group, which Verizon is participating in as well. These are important initiatives that are happening because they're trying to find a way to approach solutions. Um, if you take a look then at the scalability factor um, on awareness information and leveraging of resources, how does one actually ensure that information is getting out there vertically and horizontally? And I'll just give one example that's um, come close to home. Um, I'd recently just had the opportunity to join Verizon. And they issued in July an annual data breach investigation report. And it's, a, it's an exceptional report. It was done in cooperation with the US Secret Service. And it identifies um, a snapshot of cyber criminal activities. And they have commonalities that exist of 141 cases. 98% uh, of all data breached uh, come from hacked servers. 98% uh, of these breaches were avoidable through simple inter, um, intermediate controls. 85% of these attacks were not considered highly difficult. Um, these reports are being issued by companies. There's many who are doing these kinds of things. How, how can one utilize and get that information out there? They provide ways to mitigate the circumstances that are coming forward. So when I would look at the discussion happening here, we know that there's technical issues going on. We understand that there's threats of attack. We also know that there's a lot of resources and information and awareness out there. But how do we best ensure that there's um, better vertical and horizontal integration of that on a global level as we move forward into the future? So I would highlight that as an issue um, that needs to be looked at. 